Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Stone Shard, shall we? They just came out with uh, version 0.8.1, which has uh, a new skill tree, which is involving armor and other fixes and changes to the game. So I just wanted to boot Stone Shard up and see what this new update was all about, see how much it added, and we're going to start a brand new character, a new game. We're going to go permadeath, of course. I'm not going to do the prologue. And I'm going to try a melee class because I think they'll benefit the most from so this new kind of like Can't armor business. Up, I'm just going to skip through this. All right. So um, I could be uh, the Revenger. And, you know, I could be the Reaver. I'm usually Arna. I've done Derwin as a ranger. I've done Janna to do spells. But let's see what the deal is with this guy. Um, he has to each their own. So this guy does not like... If you hit him, he is upset. And he used two-handed weapons. So that seems kind of fun. And then this guy is like... Um, he goes crazy. And he wants to use two weapons. Um, I've never really done the dual wielding, I don't think. So let's just try um, the Reaver. Is that so? So here we're in. Uh, you can... All right, sorry, skipping all the dialogue. Uh, I know the story of the game. I've played this many times. I have uh, a complete beginner's guide to this game. I have uh, a forty-plus episode let's play, getting very deep uh, with some characters. I always play on permadeath mode, so. Uh, I don't necessarily always make it the furthest because this is a hard game. One mistake can, can ruin you. But um, if you want to see me read through the story, listen to the dialogue, uh, start at the beginning of the playlist for that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of skip through because I've played this beginning portion uh, so many times. All right, so let's get the ring from my dude here, and we'll go ahead and take it, confirm, and farewell. I'm going to go into my inventory. And we will say, okay. I'm going to, I could equip this Dwarven Axe. And can I equip this? I can, look at that. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put this ring on. What do I have? I have an amulet, which gives a counter chance. Reduces damage taken and gives 9% experience. That seems really good. What else do we have? We have a cloak. We have a fur vest. We have a head piece. And then we have a unique belt. 3% crit. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we got some food, some booze. Leeches. Nice. Alright. So let's go up here and talk to our dude. And um, let's show the goods. Uh, we're going to close the save system dialog. Uh, I need to buy some brandy here. And let's go out and give this to the guy. So we got brandy. Which we're going to talk to this dude and say, Hey, do you have any work for me? And he's like, yeah, I do. Um, deal. And then I'm, I finish your task. I need to ask something. Confirm. Walk away. All right, so we got that quest taken care of. And let's go down here, and hey, look at that. Bert is right here. Stick with you, how so? What happened? Okay, uh, do you have any work for me? Deal, show me your goods. All right, do you have an ID scroll? Wow, he's got this massive long flail. That seems interesting. Now, they did say something about they're adding more information on the tooltips for certain abilities, I believe. Um, he does have an ID scroll. Great. I want to use it just, you know, so I can get... Well, to be honest, this is probably going to be... I don't see how it's going to be better than what I've got. But if I buy an ID scroll for 24, hopefully I can sell this for more than 24, I guess, would be my plan. And let's go ahead and spend our skill points. So what can we do here? We can go... We can raise up swords... Uh, 
or dual wielding. What do we got here? Attack. Oh, yeah, look at this. They changed some of the icons. They show you, like, how much energy the ability takes and what the cooldown is. They have some new icons here. Flurry of Strikes. Delivers two strikes. Um, and then it grants 5% efficiency for two turns on each successful strike delivered with the skill. Um, hands Efficiency. Uh, so I only do 50% damage with my offhand. Using attack skills, except athletic skills, delivers a strike with a weapon in another hand. Um, if the attack weapons belong to the same type, you get 5% crit and a minus a fumble. If they're different types, you get offhand efficiency and you get a counter chance. That's really interesting. We should take this for sure. Um, because we want to be able to just get a free attack in. Um, this is deflect. Activates deflect to help for defensively and dying fervor. All right. Um, we're going to go with this for sure. And this seems like... I like deflect in the sense that it, it helps you block. And it's good for AoE. But in the beginning, I'd rather have flurry of strikes because it looks like it's just going to kill somebody. Um, instantly or, or very quickly, which is what we want. Let's go ahead and identify. Uh, use this on that. And yeah, it does sell for 98. It's actually not bad. It is not bad, but mine is better. And we can only have one, so let's go ahead and just sell that back. Make a little cash. Okay. And let's go talk up here. And do you have any work for me? Alright. He needs his item. We'll go find that. Now, I kind of like the... We'll see how it goes. This in the main hand is makes more sense. It does more damage. I mean, offhand efficiency. I like that it boosts offhand because they're different types. So you do 60%. I'm just going to go kind of moving around and getting uh, all of the quests that we can. All right, we got that quest. And does, do you sell gloves? You do. These are too expensive. These give you 1% fumble? I don't think so. I'm going to buy these basic gloves. And equip them. Alright, let's go. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Alright, um, let's talk to Frid, the herbalist, and do you, do you have any work for me? Alright, walk away. He does. Okay, so now we have a bunch of quests. We're not going to get the main quest yet, because I'd like to explore, level up before I do that. Just always my, the way I do things. Okay. So let's go ahead and look for some herbs along the road. There's Mind Wart. I don't believe that's one that we need, though. Agrimony, Flea Wart, Spearmint. Right. So it'll be interesting to see like what they've changed in the game. Here's Flea Wart. How, if anything, plays out differently. And I'm just going to see what I notice as a change as I go. I haven't found anything yet. There's me. There's a point of interest. 
Hopefully this is the wagon with the carpenter's item. Oh my god, there's two jerks. Okay, so uh, this guy is a thug and it's a goon. This guy has like a little flail and he has a club. All right. You know what I forgot to do, which I should have done, is I needed to pick up a ranged weapon from the uh, the mercen or the the town guard, basically. All right. Well, let's see how we can do. Let's see if we can take out one of these guys. I'm just going to wait for this guy, and I'm going to give him this. All right, and this guy now is 42%. So we're going to kill this guy pretty quickly. I still wish they would add um, the option to have health bars on the enemy so I could see without right-clicking on them uh, how much health they had left. All right, that guy's dead. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're just going to be... Yep, taking a bunch of damage, but killing people. All right. Now, flails are not what the guy wants. Falcons, cleavers, and swords, right. So these were both terrible. But what can you do? We're just going to rest for a little bit, recover our health. And we did fine, honestly. Okay. I'm surprised they... You know, it's like I haven't played in a while, but of course it, they didn't. But I'm surprised there's no experience bar indicator on the, the primary um, heads-up display in the, the bottom center of the screen. Just a small purple bar for a visual for how close you are. All right. Um... Uh-oh, it's this guy. If he's by himself, we're fine. I'm just going to wait and then use dual strike on him. He's like, I'll kill you for this. I'm dead. But they all have to be wielding a flail. Why? Why do it that way? How am I doing? We're all right. Oh, it's this guy, but he's kind of like by himself. So we'll just wait. We got dual strikes back on. Wait. Blast him. It's pretty funny to see the dual strikes happening, like how many times you attack. I like it. I'm just going to rest. And, uh, yep. We got dual strikes back online. I'll pretend like that's something that we need. We did, but we, we already have one. We need Agrimony and Spearman. No problem. Let me see, didn't I notice something? Yeah, it's down here on the map. All right, let's go. Here comes this guy. He's got a knife and he's a goon. I like how he's like, yeah, I'm a goon. That's my profession. I'm, uh, I'm starving to death and I'm going to attack you. You piece of filth. You look dirtier than me, dude. Oh, he's got the homemade sword. We really appreciate that one. Thanks. I'm going to rest just to get my ability off of cooldown, get a little pulse of health. Oh, this guy came in. I didn't even see him. Well, you're going to pay for that. I was trying to get some blueberries. Well, that guy was hard, but he had a homemade sword. Love it. Let's run. Let's rest. Need some more abilities. I'm not huge on taking the passive ability um, at level 1. But you saw how incredible this this basically just says um, using attack skills just delivers a strike with a weapon in the other hand, right? So anytime we use an attack skill, we're just going to get an offhand attack for free. So it's just really, really nice. Now, I don't know if that only counts for an active skill or if that counts for a basic attack as well. Oh, he's trying to run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Well, he'll come back. Let's just go up here and wait for this guy so we have dual strikes on him. That guy will come back. 
I have a good feeling about it. Oh. Darn, we're still on cooldown. Oh, we're in pain. That guy bandaged. He's dead. Uh, we took a hit. All right, no problem. So we, we took some damage. Got a little pain problem. Um... How bad am I hurt? I'm not really that badly hurt. Uh, I guess I'll just use that on my leg and help it out. This will booze me up, but it'll help with my pain. That's too expensive. I can't do that. I'm also heroic right now, so we're feeling good. Oh, he's coming. He wants to run now. No, no, there is no run. Oh, no, there's too much. There's the wagon, though, I need for the carpenter. Hopefully, it's just this guy. I'm thirsty. Let me drink. All right, we're going to come and wait for this guy. Yeah, we got one, which is really lucky. I really need to get a crossbow or something dumb like that just to get some free hits. Take that. Ooh, a cleaver. Here comes this guy. Let's see if he actually wants to come in and fight. Come on. He's like, no, no, wait. I changed my mind. He's so strange. I'm going to rest. I lost my heroism. I can't spare you. I mean, I will because I, I don't have much choice. Um... I need my legs to heal up. Finding herbs would really help to get the free medicine. There's agrimony. We'll take it. We just need spearmint now. Come on, dude. Fine. Nope, he wants to run. Alright. Maybe he'll come now that there's his buddy. I like it. Come on in. What's your health at? 41%. Okay. Alright, he's gone. I'm going to walk this guy back and just get my dual strikes back online. There we go. Ooh, we got a crit in there. Bam! Chopped him up. Battle flavor. I'll tell you what. If anything else, this character is fun. I love the double strike. Uh, eat. Take that shank of meat. And another battle cleaver. All right. He needs three falcons, cleavers, or homemade swords. So at this point, I have all of it. I'm ready to give him the stuff. Oh, there's one more guy, but it's okay. We just wait. We're just like, all right, I'll wait. He's like, I'm out. Got him. All right. Nails. Nails so well. Man, we just hit the jackpot here. Looks like they add a little more to this. Get that rope, too. Baller. All right. Let's head back home. If we find Spearmint, we find Spearmint. But I need to heal anyway. Turn all these in. Look at this. We're about to get level two. Exciting. All right. I would normally move faster than this by just clicking all the way across the map, but I'm just peeking out to see if I missed any spearmint. You never know. There it is. You love to see it. That's a very, very successful little foray. 
If I get some more attack skills, this character is going to be awesome. I feel good about it. All right. So let's wake this dude up. You trying to sleep? Or are you in the inn? Oh, he's here. I finished your task. Tell me the rumors. We got some rumors. Alright. We need to bring the plane to the carpenter. Question is, is the carpenter even anywhere near his home? No. Oh, look, there's Agrimony right there. Just chilling in the town. So he's in the inn, so we can go talk to him. We can also probably give this to the smith, but I'm not sure. Sometimes he's dodgy about accepting things in here. J-Bar. Um, eh, he, he won't take it either. Oh, this, here we go. Jerg will take it, though. Here you go. Hey, hey. He's like, sweet. Thank you. Uh, walk away. All right. Doing a bunch of quests for people. Getting cash. Oh, this is the village elder. We'll get that in a second, dude. I'm not going to get that right now. Bert. And then walk away. Tell me the rumors. All right, we're getting stuff populated on our map anyway. All right, dude. I want to rent a room. Um, I'm going to get a whole week. Am I? I need to be here for a bit. Might as well. Now right, we're going to rest until like 7 a.m. Bam. We're feeling great. Let's go get our... Uh, our health is all full. And... I'm going to fill up my water. Here we go. J-Bar, I finished your task. All right. Walk away. I drank from the well. Collect water in here. Good. And let's see. Let me sell stuff to Bert. All right. I'm going to sell him the oil, um, these ropes, these nails. He doesn't pay well for those, but I just don't mind. And then mead. All right, I'll sell one. Okay, tremendous. He does have a nice pair of boots here. They're better than what I have, but I want to keep my money. All right. Good. Let me go... Let's see... Bear Pelt, Bison Pelt, first contract, right. Right. Let's go get the crossbow. Ranged weapon. Um, give me a crossbow. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, switch over and, and do that and feel good about it. Now we can shoot things. All right. I need to buy a little bit of flatbread from the innkeeper. And now we're just going to kind of go around. And let's see. Where did we get? Oh, I got some rumors about a crypt and stuff, but it didn't go on my map. I was surprised about that. All right. 
show me your goods. I'll buy flatbread. And that should be plenty of food for just a little bit. Fine, I'll buy a pretzel. You sold me. Alright. So now our job is on this map to just go to the north. And work on... Ex like, just kind of clearing out the map, killing guys, and getting level 2. Then I'll take that contract. I just am loath in permadeath mode to just run up and uh, try it without... Try the contract at level 1. I probably would be okay, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Blueberries. I'll just follow the road. And kind of see if we find any points of interest. There we go. Well, there's one for sure over here. This might just be a quest point, though. We might not get any experience for discovering it, but we're going to go look at it. Get me those blueberries by golly. What you got over here? Are these nice people? Hmm. Not really. All right. We got 114 experience for finding the castle and we're not going to go in there or do anything with it at the moment we're just going to celebrate the fact that basically one person that we kill levels this up Here, there's something over here, and there's something to the north of us. So there's a lot of good stuff to just check out. This will level us up if we find this um, as well. Oh, or this guy will. Oh, you know what? I forgot to shoot him. Oh my god, I'm not loaded. Oh, this is... Woe is me. Well, next time, buddy, we'll shoot your friend. Oh, this guy's tough. All right, we did level up, and it healed me. Thank goodness. That actually could have killed me if I didn't uh, level up right there. You know what? We're going to go to skill points and um, deflect passive... Maneuver. Interesting. No, let's go ahead and get an axe skill. Like... Cut through. Yeah, I mean, like, if we do cut through, we will be able to use our offhand attack. I'm not really doing much bleed damage. Warfare. Armored combat is the new skill tree. 
so we'll need to get a book to get access to that. Um, I'm not really into deflect. It's not gonna... It's okay, but it doesn't do damage. Give me this. Give me cut through. Alright, um... We'll switch, and we'll do cut through. You see how I, I did get two attacks right there, and then... Oof. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. But we made it. Sit down, soldier. We're hungry. Eat some flatbread. Celebrate. Wow. Alright, so now we have some new abilities. Ooh, we got a clapper chain. Uh, we'll, I need to pick up my bolts so I can actually try to hit things. And let's just move over here. Um, actually, I should switch to this. Load it up. It's loaded. Move down here. Alright. Spearmen. Very nice. Here we go. Chapel of the Guiding Star. Boom. 114 experience. Alright. So... Um, oh, I have a stat point as well. Let's see. Weapon damage and block chance. Um, accuracy and armor penetration. Vision range. Eh. Hands efficiency. Boy, you kind of need it all, don't you? I think we should go agility for dodging, hands efficiency, and move resistance. Um... You know, this will just help us hit with dual weapons. This does just makes you do more damage. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take strength. I, I, you know, it's just, it seems good. Awesome. So we took strength. We got an axe skill. We got dual wielding. And we're doing great. New character, new version. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you're playing Stone Shard in the latest version and what you think of the new skill tree. Take care.